Hello viewers, this is Siddiq from Toronto. So finally, we are starting our another video series, which is Provincial Nominee Program. And we'll discuss every little tips and bits about this uh, PNP. Nowadays, PNP is buzzing word, and I know a lot of you guys are searching on YouTube, searching on uh, Google, and you are not getting the proper answers, right? So we will try to come, cover those gaps. But before that, uh, I'm assuming you are watching or you will watch all the videos that we have covered in basics of expressive program and also there are some other videos yet to come so please uh, make sure you're watching those videos uh, also and i would say before watching this video even because pnp provincial nominee program is part of that express entry because out of that 1200 pnp has 600 only so if you're not getting the idea of that entire 1200 you will miss this point for sure so please make sure you are watching that and if it is your first time you're watching our video in this channel please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell button on top right corner now moving forward let me tell you something about this pnp why this is important and how this has evolved canada is a country with about 10 million square kilometers quite a big country as you can see right so it has got 10 provinces and three territories and out of that now most of the provinces they're looking for new immigrants and this is how in the year of 2015 they have launched express entry program and the pnp has been embedded with that express entry program right and this is how you can claim 600 points out of that 1200 points if you are not qualifying without this pnp right among all the provinces i would say mostly ontario saskatchewan nova scotia manitoba these provinces are very famous in terms of giving these uh, provincial nominations so you must check it out but uh, for your kind information let me tell you as the provinces are different by their legislations by the rules by their weather by the temperature and everything and that is how the requirement and the job lists are also also different in all the provinces so just to give you an idea i'm i'm sharing the demand list of saskatchewan and nova scotia here so that you know how it is different from one province to another province you may get uh, one to two or two to three NOC is common in all the provinces, but mostly these are these differs widely. Now I will try to explain why PNP is important for you. If you are watching our updates um, in our channel regarding the ITA draw, which is published in IRCC websites on a regular interval, and we try to customize these for you guys so that you get the highlights. So you will see that nowadays the current trend the cutoff point is about 450 plus out of 1200 now if you are not qualifying for that let's say considering your job education ielts and every other things you are not crossing that 450 plus so you can imagine like you will not be in that draw right then how how can you you make your dream come true so let's say your uh, cs score is somewhere in 400 or let's say 350 around so the only one way you should have and you will have is this pnp because pnp only can give you that 600 points so imagine let's say if you are sitting at 350 somewhere and you are getting this 600 as well so that means you are getting total 950 so no one can stop you to come to that ita draw right so that means pnp is very very important if you are not meeting that 450 plus mark right now 
uh, I will strongly recommend to see one of our videos which is uh, like the CRS breakdowns of that 1200 points I'm giving that link in the description box and also you can click on the suggested link above so that you can directly see that video right now uh, also I'm just recapping the table only in this video so that you can see that 600 points belong to that uh, 1200 points right now after seeing this table please do not get confused with that arranged employment where they will give you 200 points you may think okay you know what maybe pnp is kind of tough for me hard for me so let's think about that uh, employment arrangement where can i where i can get uh, 200 points and i can easily make that 450 mark right no my friend do not ever think that you will just waste your time right i will cover that topic entirely on some other video and once i'm done very near future i'll be doing it so once i'm done i will put that link in the description box so that you can just go there and check it so arrange employment is gone the only way is pnp and as i already mentioned for all the provinces the systems are different the point criteria is different but do not be worried about that because in our this entire video series we will be covering all the uh, pnps as much as we can in details uh, so that you have the idea about what to do which one should be your one so as you can see this list here so mostly we'll be covering all these topics i'm not saying these are the all but this will be our favorite topic to go with and definitely if we can uh, we can figure out like we should cover something else as well we'll go for that as well and for you guys definitely you are 100 percent free to suggest us please do suggest us if you think okay we are missing out something and you need further clarification we'll be more than happy to assist you with that okay so for today this was just a very very basic intro of provincial nominee program i hope i just touched very very basic and for the upcoming videos i will try to break down everything into pieces so that that will give you more hope more opportunity to go with so this is it for today if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and keep sharing with your friends bye bye